people begin to play the game and realize that what we've done is change the way shooters can work. Instead of asking players to stay on the ground and cower behind cover, we ask players to get up into the air, to grind down telephone wires, to vault and wall run, and just be active as they're moving through this giant open world. That's right! Yes! We had a lot of fun coming up with some really different weapons. Weapons like the TN Teddy, or the Captain Ahab, or my current favorite, the Turricopters, which are these toy helicopters that have 45 caliber pistols dangling from them. Uh, they're, they're really useful in combat. So Sunset Overdrive has a big story-driven single-player campaign, but it also has a multiplayer component called Chaos Squad. And in Chaos Squad, you and seven friends are playing in the same open world, taking on a series of missions, which end up culminating in a big, explosive finale called Night Defense. One of the coolest things for me as a player is when I'm playing the single-player campaign, I'm constantly upgrading my weapons, I'm earning new amps, I'm unlocking new abilities in the game. But as soon as I decide to go play Chaos Squad with my friends, I bring over all my progression to Chaos Squad. And any additional progression I make or any rewards that I earn in Chaos Squad, whether that's overcharge or in-game cash or vanity or weapons, I bring them back into the single player. So there is a really strong connection between both modes in the game. I also think that the humor in the game and the visual stylization and the color are very true to who we are as a company. Sunset Overdrive for us was an opportunity to get back to what we really do best, which is stylization, which is humor.